This is the 2016 Ford F-250 Super Duty by TJ Mods. And now I suppose I'm teasing you guys a little bit here because you can't actually download this mod. It's a private mod that is owned by some friends and I. This particular model is the FX4 Super Duty, which comes with a 6.8 liter Power Stroke V8 diesel with way too much horsepower and way too much torque. And I, thanks to some intense research, I have pinpointed the exact kind of driver that would drive this kind of truck, and I'm going to describe that to you here. So, anybody that would spend upwards of $60,000 on a pickup truck has to have pretty poor judgment. Because, for that kind of money, you could, one, get a pickup truck that's not a waste of money, and then also buy, like, a sports car or something. Or, you could just make that same amount of money in a day at work of course it's dirty money because if you're driving a sixty-five thousand dollar pickup truck you live in texas and you make your money from oil or gasoline it is a fact when i went to dallas uh this past april uh i saw so many ford chevy and dodge 2500 rated slash 250 rated pickup trucks that you'd think you were in a used car specialty lot for heavy duty pickup trucks. And the funny part is most people that would spend upwards of $65,000 on a pickup truck of this caliber will never use it for anything that a truck of this caliber will, um, will be used for. The thing is that trucks like this only sell to people who have all of their lives seen pickup trucks and thought, wow, I really want a nice one of those. And then they find themselves working in a career in which they scam people out of money. As, as I said, most of the people that drive these kind of trucks are oil men. That's like not even a joke. Like if you go down to, to Dallas, for example, and see these kind of trucks, it's always going to be wealthy oil men that are driving these trucks. Most, most of the people in uh, expensive cars are wealthy oil men and their wives and children and whatnot. And you buy this when you realize that you have enough money to spend on a nice truck. And yet, instead of buying a Mercedes, you're buying a pickup truck because you've always had that idea. I was in second that entire time. Uh, because you've always had the idea of liking a pickup truck, right? The people that are buying F-150s, they're buying Ram 1500s, they're buying Silverado 1500s, those are working men. Those are people, and I say men, because women would never in a million years be dumb enough to buy uh, a base model truck and I, I, I use the wrong term there not dumb women wouldn't really need a base model truck right like if you're if you're a woman like you have a lot of money you're going to buy a Silverado it seems like Silverados and F-150s and Rams you know those are the, the the big three it's almost always you're gonna see people in one of those three trucks the women aren't going to buy a base model truck. They're going to buy something that they can soup up and make their own because they're proud that they're breaking those stereotypes that come with a truck. And I'm using exclusive male stereotypes here because it's almost exclusively men that would drive a truck like this. And, um, anyway, so the kind of people that buy these trucks, you're going to buy, if you're a working man, you need something to lug, lug your stuff around if you're working in like construction or something, or if you're fresh on a new job and you want to sort of have your first big splurge, you're going to buy a base model pickup truck because it is a base model. It has everything you need and nothing more because at this point in your life, if you're buying a base model pickup truck, it's because you want a pickup truck. It's not because you want an expensive, uh, expensive car or truck. You want a pickup truck for everything that would come from a pickup truck. You like the idea of a pickup truck, and the base model one is all you need for that. And by base model, I'm implying Silverado 1500, Dodge Ram 1500, or I guess it's not Dodge anymore, Ram 1500, and uh, Ford F-150. Whatever spec, but that that's considered base model in my eyes. It's going to be gas-powered because diesel is pretty expensive, at least in the U.S., and I'm I'd imagine people in other countries don't really have these kind of pickup trucks. Um, so it's going to be a gas engine. It's usually going to be just whatever color they have at the dealer, but you're going to be proud of yourself. And those are proud drivers. People that drive these F-250s, they're the people that make a lot of money. And as I said, they buy a pickup truck because they like, they've always liked the idea. And come on, man. It's a good opportunity to floor it and just give this guy the finger. Um, 
because you want a pickup truck and you want to show your wealth at the same time that's sort of the thing with people that drive these big trucks and don't need them because they're making their money elsewhere other than construction now i can make a couple exceptions for the particular f-250 because these are some of the most common fleet vehicles are that are the uh, super duty series of four trucks so if you're driving one of these and it's a fleet vehicle, that, that's, that's a different story. But I'm talking about the people that would go out individually and buy this kind of truck. And I know this video may not be as funny, or at least I thought the, the Mercedes video was pretty funny. I know this may not be as funny as the Mercedes video. But I'd like to give those of you in Australia, the UK, just anywhere that isn't the US or Canada, an idea of the purpose of a big pickup truck like this. That is not to say that it is a bad truck, it, by any means. This is a fantastic truck, it's a great mod, I mean, I, I, I'm not talking about the mod enough, I feel like, but I guess this is more of just a commentated drive as I swerve through traffic. Come on, Volkswagen. Come on. Watch this. This is totally a pickup truck move, by the way. It's to ride someone's ass, or at least where I live. Pickup truck because I live somewhere flat, so a lot of the pickup truck drivers are just people trying to uh, display their masculinity. Uh, I live in Chicago, in case you're wondering. Um, you're gonna ride people's asses on the highway because you're not in a fast truck. I mean, these aren't particularly fast, but you want to seem like you're in a rush. So I'm gonna proceed to do that. I don't even know how I found the highway. I wasn't trying just sort of mindlessly driving. But anyway, we'll get off next time. So it's fine. Um, anyway, so more about this mod. This mod was uh, paid for by myself and a couple of other friends, uh, TJ, Cass, uh, or I guess Virtual Driver GTI, TJ, uh, and then somebody who doesn't have a YouTube channel, and then Trucker Chris. We all paid for a big heap of th uh, paid 3D models. TJ's using his modding magic to uh, to create them for us, which is kind of awesome. Um, and I suppose this isn't really a mod review, so I'm not going to call it that. It's more of just a, a general story, I guess. The sort of people that you're going to see driving these pickup trucks. And I know there's some gaps in the model, like if you look directly to the left of the steering wheel, to like the top left, you'll see that there's a hole there. It's because these models are insanely high polygon count, so we have to, he has to remove a lot in order for the frame rates to be tolerable. Um, oh yeah, I also noticed that the um, videos that I've been recording have these sort of like, they're sort of Body. Now I'm recording using uh, Open Broadcaster software. If you guys have any other uh, free or paid recording softwares that you would recommend over OBS, I have a pretty high spec system. So if you want to throw that at me, you are welcome to. Uh, I've tried. I've tried to clean it up in editing, but I mean it's not so easy. Um, this is just a really good mod. I'll go to exterior view. There's a bus here. Sort of weird driving in next to you. Anyway, so this is a very nice looking truck. I'm actually driving a spec truck owned by BMX and car YouTuber Adam LZ. This is an extra I requested, and I'm I'm almost never request extras for these mods, but this is something that I really wanted because he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, you see, you've got those huge tow mirrors. Whoa, that was close. Um. Yeah, you've got these massive tow mirrors. I'm gonna actually take this up into the mountains because I can. Oh. Whoa! I think I. Let's see, buddy. Oh, shit. Alright, should probably put that Notice he even put Texas license plates because this is a very. Texas truck. Um, alright, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I'll give it just another view around the truck. I can't really zoom out with this camera angle here. I'll switch to. There, okay, zoom out. I'm gonna give another just panoramic view. This very nice mod. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments or wherever you can have contact with me 
whether or not you like this kind of commentary video, or if you would rather me re uh, sort of review the mod. Because I feel like that, that gets a bit dry for me, so I'm going to try, as a content creator, to do a bit, a bit different uh, style of video. Uh, so let me know what you think of these commentated, almost reviews. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice day, and uh, until then, I am David the Nerd signing out.